Hello viewers, and welcome to the latest installment of the LOTR LCG Progression Series, a production by Cardboard of the Rings, the bi-weekly podcast about the Lord of the Rings, the card game, which is a living card game by Fantasy Flight Games. My name is Mitch. And my name's Matthew. And today we're going to be taking another attempt at the Battle of Lake Town, a special promotional scenario first introduced at Gen Con 2012 and now available as print on demand. In our last video, we were unfortunately unable to prevent smog from burning Lake Town down to cinders, and hopefully we'll fare a little bit better this time. I think Matthew and I have already covered the premises of our decks, but have you made any changes? Uh, I made one slight change. Unexpected Courage really doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose in this quest. Uh, I removed that. I added Elrond's Council just for a little bit of threat reduction and perhaps more importantly just a smidge of willpower boosting. So very, very minor change and let's hope that we can pull this off. Well, I suppose we might as well get things going. So at this point, why don't we deviate from tradition and I'll make Matthew first player. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my deck. I'm sure he'll do the same. And let's draw our opening hand of six cards. I suppose I'm going to keep what I've got. I'm going to be able to do a nice little trick to get an ally into play early on. I've got an ambush. I've got a resource acceleration effect. So things aren't looking too bad for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take a mulligan. My mulligan sucks. Well, that's not exactly what I was hoping to hear. But now that we've both covered that, why don't we go ahead and take a look at quest phase 1A. We've already created our smog deck, we've already got our encounter deck assembled, Lake Town, our objective is sitting here right on the table, and why don't we go ahead and shuffle our encounter deck and reveal one card per player. So encounter card number one is going to be resolve all burn damage from all locations in play, which does okay. nothing. So yeah. thanks for the freebie encounter deck. Encounter card number two is going to be each player must choose and discard one ally he controls, and that means we're going to end up doing one, two, three, four damage to Lake Town, since there are no allies at this point. But it looks like we've made it through setup, so let's go ahead and flip our quest card, and this is going to be an additional two points of damage to Lake Town. Smog cannot have more than six points of damage, so let's go ahead and do our first uh, resource phase. So I will not be doing anything for my planning. And for me, I think I'm going to go ahead and strip two resources off my leadership heroes for Steward of Gondor on Thorin. I will trigger that to give him two resources. And I'm going to go ahead and do a We Are Not Idle, choosing to exhaust Ori. I draw one card. I will put that resource on Thorin. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and do a Daron's Runes to draw two cards. I'm going to go ahead and discard a Longbeard Orc Slayer. I'm going to do one more Daron's Runes to draw an additional couple cards. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of an Erebor Battlemaster, since I've got another couple. I'm going to do one resource off Ori for a Legacy of Durin on Thorin, whoops, and I'm going to do three resources off of him for a Longbeard Elder. And of course that means I get to draw one card, which ended up being a mount for Glorfindel, and I've also okay. got a Rainbow Belt, and that is going to be it for me. So for questing, I think I would like Smog to go to the staging area. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up our smog deck. I'm going to verify that that is shuffled, and here's hoping for the best. So our first version of smog is going to be this one. So resolve all okay. burn damage. This is perfect. So yep. smog, six threat, immune to player card effects, sitting in the staging area doing nothing. Perfect. So I will send 9 to the quest, and I'm boost my threat by 1. I'm going to go ahead and send 7. So, grand total of 16. Let's see what we get. Encounter card number 1 is going to be Merchant's District, so 4 threat, and we can 
deal damage to Lake Town to get rid of it. Encounter mm -hmm. card two is going to be one damage to each character in play. Okay. So I guess one of those is out of the way. And that means we're going to be up against ten threats. We're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six progress. Okay. So for travel, I suppose there's no real reason not to take advantage of the action here, so let's gain three victory points and do another one, two, three, four damage to Lake Town. For engagement, Smog doesn't have to come down and engage with us. For combat, that means we don't have to deal with them. So I suppose we should uh, refresh. Yep. So control R. I'll be first player. I've yet to hit five dwarves, but I drew a decent card. Let me do my resources. Trigger my steward. For planning, I think I'm going to do one, two resources to do a Narvi's Belt. I think for the first time in uh, any Cardboard of the Rings video, and I'm going to exhaust that to give Thorin a lore resource match. I'm going to do one, two, three lore resources. For Biffer, his ability is going to be response. I draw two cards, since I've now got those dwarves. Ended up drawing some decent stuff. And Legacy of Durin. Legacy of Durin also triggers for one additional card. So I've got some discard fodder for my couple Darren's runes I no longer have in my hand. So I've got Ambush Astari ready for next turn, but what are you going to be doing? Uh, I will play a copy of uh, Keeley. Awesome. So let me look for his pal, Feely. Uh, let's see. And that's all I can do. So for the quest phase, it looks like, as much as I'd love to hold on to all my wonderful little dwarves, I'm going to go ahead and put Smog engaged with me. So our new version is... Huh, going to be the one card I would have liked to see sit in the staging area. So let me discard the old Smog the Terrible. I'll leave this one down here with me. And for committing characters to the quest, I suppose what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 total. And how about yourself? Uh, I can send 13. Awesome. So, grand total of 23. Oh, let me raise my threat. Sure. And let's see what we get for encounter cards. So number one is going to be Fisherman's Docks. Not a big okay. deal. Encounter nope. card two is going to be each player must choose and discard an ally he controls. I guess I'm going to get rid of my Longbeard Elder, which drops me down. Okay, I'll get rid of Keeley, which drops me down to 11. Okay, so we've got a total of 18 committed at this point. Mm -hmm. Shame you can't just pick between discarding an ally and taking damage. Yep. But that is going to be our staging. So we're up against two threat. We're going to end up making 16 progress. Okay. So that puts us at uh, 22. And at the present moment, we're going to progress to quest phase 2. So Smog can't have more than 12 damage. If we quest successfully, we can choose to strip burn tokens off of Lake Town. One per progress point. So definitely a good option for us to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. And for travel, I suppose there's no reason not to go to the Fisherman's Docks. Yep. So make that active. Skip ahead to combat. Smog the Terrible gets a shadow card. I'm going to have Biffer as my defender. And looks like this is the nastiest shadow card. Yeah, we'll go ahead and replace that. All right, so here's hoping it doesn't replace itself with itself. Counter card replacement is a whole nothing. lot of nothing. For some reason, this looks like I've almost never seen this card before. Mm -hmm. But uh must be a one copy. So yep. Smog the Terrible, of course, destroys Biffer. I'm now nowhere near that five dwarf threshold. End of combat, that card is gone. And I suppose that is going to lead us to refresh. So yep. Control R. You are now first player. And let's do resource phase. All right. I'm going to spend two for a copy of Zigil Miner. Okay. And that will be it for me. For my turn, I'm going to start off by doing one, two, three resources to do another Longbeard Elder. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one card. 
And I think that's all I'm going to do. I certainly could do some other stuff. I could slap Glorfindel's mount on him, thanks to Narvi's belt. But in the interest of trying to hit and preserve that five dwarf threshold, I think I'm going to hold off and just save resources. So let's move on to questing. And where... All right, so let's put Smog with me. Okay, so let me go ahead and see what we get. New version of Smog is the one that attacks each player. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and have uh, Feely defend. Okay, so, sh whoops, let me do a shadow card. It is going to be the additional attack shadow card. Uh, we're going to have to cancel that. Okay, so get rid of that. Here's the replacement, which is deal one damage to each character in play. Oh, no. I'm going to have to hasty stroke that. All right, at least you've got a backup, so yep. that is going to be essentially nullified, and it looks yep. like Feely is killed. Mm -hmm. For my attack, I guess I've got to use my poor Longbeard Elder, and there's not Nothing. any uh, effect. So yep. Longbeard Elder is going to be killed once again, far away from five dwarves, and let's get rid of that shadow card at the end of the quest phase. Yep. So, now that we can actually commit characters to the quest... I'll send nine. I'm going to go ahead and do seven. So that is going to be a total of 16 this round. And encounter card number one is going to be the Master's Manor. So move all damage from Smog to Lake Town for threat. Encounter card number two is going to be Esgaroth Wharf. So at least this isn't, uh, you know an additional attack for Smog once again. Right. I, I don't know if we've seen three or four of these so far, but I know there are only four in the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So we are going to end up making a total of nine progress. So one, two progress to add mm -hmm. Fisherman's Dock to our victory display. And then I suppose there's no reason for us not to remove seven burn damage. So let's go ahead and bring Lake Town back down to three. Something for us to keep in mind is we now have more victory points than we do burn damage. So if miraculously we kill Smog at the present moment, we're looking like we'd achieve a win. Okay. But we're at least a round or two away from that. So for travel, do we want to do Esgaroth Wharf or the Master's Manor? Uh, it doesn't matter to me which one. It's up to you. I suppose let's go ahead and do the Master's Manor. Hopefully we'll clear through that and then be able to take care of our wharf here. I think I'm actually going to change my mind, and I want to get rid of this wharf, just in case I don't have anything decent to play, and uh, Asphaloth ends up being a good option. So I'm going to go ahead and make that active for us. For engagement, okay. there's nothing. For combat, here's one more attack for Smog the Mighty. All right, so Minor. For something not bad. And it's going to be, if this attack destroys a character, resolve all burn damage. That's not, not a big deal. So Zigil Miner is destroyed. There's currently uh, four burns. So one, two, three, four. And uh, now we've got more burn damage than victory points. But end of combat. Let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and do Control r to refresh. I'm going to be first player. Nowhere near five dwarves. For my planning, I'm going to go ahead and trigger my Steward of Gondor. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trigger Narvi's Belt to pick tactics. Kind of unusual. And I'll do one, two, three to play an Erebor Battlemaster. So I'm going to draw one card, and then I suppose I'm going to spend my two lore resources, and I think I'm going to go ahead and put out Asphaloth now. So that is going to be it for me. Okay. I'm going to spend two for a Sigil Miner, and that's it for me. Okay. So that's going to lead us to quest phase, and I think I want to put Smog engaged with me. So, here's hoping for the best. He is Smog the Magnificent, so excess damage has to be assigned to Lake Town. But that's really not that big of a deal, as we're going to okay. end up seeing later. So, old Smog is gone. And that leads us to committing characters. So, I will do, I suppose... Eight. 
I'll send 11. All right, so going to be a grand total of 19. And let's see what we get. So encounter card one is going to be choose and shuffle one peer location from the victory display into the encounter deck. Let me see if there is one. So we've got a Lake Town location. Yeah, we do not have a pier, so okay. let's go ahead and uh, make that gain surge, I suppose. So encounter card one is going to be each character must choose and discard an ally. So goodbye, Erebor Battlemaster and Zigil Miner. And that is going to drop our total to 16 committed. That's gone. Encounter card two is going to be Fisherman's Dock. So we can potentially have two active locations here. But okay. looks like we're up against six. We're going to make ten progress. So that is one, two, three, four. That is added to our victory display. And then there's six left, I suppose. Again, there's no reason not to do it in the form of burn damage. So let's drop Lake Town down to one. All right. I will go ahead and trigger Asphaloth to get rid of the Fisherman's Dock, I suppose. Okay, so that'll be an immediate two points on it, so it is going to be gone. And for travel, we might as well make the Master's Manor our active location. Yep. For engagement, there's nothing. For combat, here's one card. I'm going to go ahead and strip one resource to do a sneak attack. I am Gandalf. And Gandalf means me. And I'm going to go ahead and put Gandalf into play. As his ability, I'm going to draw three cards, which uh, they were okay. Certainly not great by any means. And I'm going to go ahead and have Gandalf defend against uh, Smog here. So let's see. Shadow card is our old thrush. So the one copy objective that makes him a million times easier to kill is, of course, now gone. So that really sucks. Gandalf is going to take exactly eight damage. There's no excess that splashes to Lake Town, so Gandalf is going to be killed as opposed to return to my hand, just like in the book. At the end of combat, the old thrush is gone, and I guess we might as well refresh. Is Gandalf killed in the book? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. all right. I guess I've got to make you first player. I've got to do resources and draw one card. All right. Just for the sake of needing a chump, I'm really strapped for resources here. I will do Westroad Traveler. Okay. And her response, of course, doesn't do anything. For me, I suppose I'll do one resource off of Ori for Erebor Record Keeper to draw one card. I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, three resources for Glowin, since I've now got five dwarves. And I'm going to go ahead and put those resources on whoops, Thorin. I will trigger Narvi's belt to choose Lore. And I'm going to go ahead and play Biffer. So I draw one card from Glowin. I draw one card from Biffer. And Biffer's response means I draw two cards. So since I have 12 in hand, that certainly would be nice if we wouldn't have had to discard the old thrush. I'm going to go ahead and do Daron's runes to draw another two cards. I will discard an unnecessary copy of Narvi's belt. I think that's it for me. All right, so I think I'm going to say we should put Smog into the staging area. Sure. So let's see here. Why don't we go ahead and pull another copy of Smog, and I will put him in the staging area, and it's going to be resolve all burn damage. But let's get rid of the old version, and this is going to be burn three. So uh, one, two, three. So he is going to come down to you then. Well, I do have one trick up my sleeve I can ah. play. So okay. I guess it kind of forces my hand, but there's no real reason not to do it now. So uh, okay. now that we can commit characters to the quest and we've got an action window, one resource off of Thorin for sneak attack. I am Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. And I'm going to go ahead and put out my homeboy Gandalf and drop my threat down to 30. 
Okay. So, for committing characters... I will send all of my people. And... 10, 11. I'm going to send a total of 18 myself. Looks like we've got a grand total of 29 sent to the quest this round, so we're up against six so far, but let's see what we pull. So, encounter card number one is going to be one damage to each character in play. So that is going to kill my Airborne Record Keeper, and it's going to put a lot of damage on the board here. So that's going to drop us by a total of four, down to 25 committed. I guess let's get rid of that. Encounter card number two is going to be Smog makes an attack against Lake Town. I'm okay with that. So okay. here's uh, Smog's shadow card, and let's see what he gets. So he swings for seven, just seven. So mm -hmm. it's going to be at 11 points of damage. And let's get rid of that. So, we've sent 25. We're up against 6. Just for fun, I'll have Asphaloth put 2 on our active location. Sure. No reason not to. Yep. So, that means we make 19 progress. Uh, it's going to put us down to 13 by the time that we clear our active location. So, why don't we actually do 9 progress on our current quest phase here? and we'll pull four off of Lake Town, since we've now got 19 victory points. And that's probably a, a wiser move here. So our threat uh, levels are both at 30. Smog is just going to sit here. We've got no option to travel. Gandalf, of course, bounces back to my hand. And uh, that is going to be the round. All so right. refresh. I'll be first player. I have finally got the five dwarf threshold. So, let's go ahead and do resources. So, you might notice a slight visual edit, since Matthew and I had to look up a question. And I doubt you guys want to look at the LOTR rulebook broadcast into this video. So, for my planning, I'm going to go ahead and do one resource off of Ori for an Erebor Record Keeper, so I draw one card per Legacy of Durin. I'm going to do one, two resources to go ahead and do a hardy leadership on Thorin, and I'm going to do one, two resources off of him to do a King Under the Mountain on your Balin, and feel hmm. free to use that whenever. Yeah, um, I'm... Uh, we've used up all the softball smog the terribles so that means smog the mighty is coming down and i do not have an ally that i can afford so this is this was part of our rules question of when i could you know sneak in an ally or when i couldn't if we get the the immediate attack smog which would kill a hero most likely so i think i'm going to use this now let me take control of it because this could change things now look at the top two add one to my hand discard the other I'll discard a copy of Ancient Mathem. I, I selected a Zigil Miner, but I'm thinking that, you know, if it, we get Smog, the Smog that does the immediate attack, uh, it's going to be Balam that goes, because if I kill a Spirit Hero, I'm just never going to be able to pay for anything, and I'll just be dead. Uh, so as much as I want to play the Zigil Miner um, this turn, I'd rather get out two allies next turn, so I'm going to just cross my fingers and uh, and take a gamble here and not play sure. anything. Sure, I think the odds are probably something like 50-50. I guess even if we if we did lose Balin, we've... Oh, God, I want to say we've seen almost every single copy of... Um... And you know, with that said, let's let's we're going to put King of the Mountain on Owen. Okay. Just because he would be the sure. one who sure. I would keep. Sure, definitely. So uh, probably a better play there. So, I suppose nothing from you? No. Okay. So, at the beginning of the quest phase, why don't I go ahead and put Smog with me? And here's hoping for... I think
think the Magnificent is the one we want to see. I don't remember. Okay, and it looks like we lucked out. So, oh, thank the God. Magnificent, and let's get rid of the old copy. So, he is not going to do anything when he comes into play. Okay. And I've got a uh, nice Glowin and Biffer as convenient blockers. Okay. So, let's see. For committing characters, I suppose I'll do 7, 9, 11 committed. I'm just going to send 6. So, going to be a total of 17 that we've got committed to the quest. Let's see what we get. So, encounter card 1 is going to be South Pier. So, when faced with the option to travel, okay. they cannot travel to other locations. Counter card number okay. two is going to be Fisherman's Dock. So this is, if there's an active location, we can do a double location thing. Well, should I snipe the dock? Um, or put the two on the south pier? I suppose there's no reason not to do the dock. So let's go ahead and control V to add that to our victory display. And I hope I've been adding all of these to the victory display instead of deleting them. We've currently got 21 victory points. And that means we're only going to be up against a lone threat, and we're going to make 16 progress. So immediately, Lake Town stops burning completely, and that is going to leave 10 progress on our current quest phase. So at the present moment, we're going to transition into quest phase 3B. And this says, during the quest phase, reveal one additional card from the encounter deck, but refresh action is reset the quest deck to stage 2B. And presumably, all of these tokens go away as soon as you complete the quest card and it's removed from the game. So the players have to defeat Smog to defeat this stage, and that is the trick here. So the old thrush is gone. Neither of us really has any significant amount of attack strength on the board, and it's going to take something like a total of 28 damage to bring down Smog, who is immune to player card effects. So hopefully I've got some Battle Masters coming up shortly, but until then there's not too terribly much I can do to Smog. But I suppose we might as well keep on going. So we have to travel to the South Pier, so might as well make that our active location. I'm going to go ahead and move to combat. So one Shadow Card for Smog. As a defender, I'm going to go ahead and pick Glowin. So Shadow Card is not going to be anything. It's one copy of the Great House. Smog swings for 8, Glowin absorbs 4 because of hardy leadership, so that is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 damage back onto Lake Town. So the Shadow card is gone, and Glowin is killed, and that's going to be the round. Mm -hmm. So let's control R. I'll make you first player, and at the end of our refresh action, let's go ahead and reset our quest deck to stage 2. All right, so now that that is done, we can go ahead and do our resource phase. Thorn gets an extra resource. I'll trigger my steward. I'll draw two cards. So I will do three for Keeley. Okay. And I'll look for Feely. And there should be only one more copy of him. So last time I can do this, close and shuffle. I will trigger King Under the Mountain. Oh, I need to pay for... Um, What's his name? I'll do that in a moment. I guess I'll take the Escort and get rid of the Rittermark's Finest. Uh, let me pay for... Oops, actually. Uh, that way. And, man, I wish I had some leadership stuff with all these resources, but that is all I can do. Well, I guess it might certainly help with uh, Dry Cast of Gandalf at some point, but... Uh... For my turn, I'm going to do one lore resource for my third and final Erebor Record Keeper. So I draw one card. I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, three resources off of Thorin for another copy of Glowin. And I'm going to put two resources back onto Thorin. I think I'm going to do a We Are Not Idle. And I'm going to go ahead and select four characters to put one, two, three, four resources onto Thorin. And I'm going to go ahead and discard that, draw one card. I'm going to go ahead and trigger Narvi's Belt, choosing Lore to do one, two, three, four resources off of Thorin for a couple Erebor Hammersmiths. So, let me see. 
Do you have any attachments worth retrieving? I guess you had your uh, no. Mathem. No. Oh, well, let me look. Uh, yeah, I can take a Mathem unless you have something. Should I just take it? Yeah, sure. All right. So I've taken my Ancient Mathem. And uh, feel free to take something else. I know I don't have anything worth grabbing. In my... uh, I don't have anything else. That's right. it. Well, I might as well just use the ability to put another Narvi's Belt in my hand. Uh, just in case we maybe cycle through and see the old thrush, but it's pretty unlikely. Yeah. Um, I suppose since I played those two dwarves, I get to draw two cards. Ended up getting another tactics attacker, which is decent. I've still yet to pull any battle masters, and if you can't tell, I'm trying to build a little bit of an army to make those uh, worth attacking with. I've got a dwarf readying effect in my hand, so all we need to do is mess up smog at this point. So I think this is it for me. All right, so it's quest stage. And if memory serves, we still have two of the ones I'm worried about and one of the one that we have here on the table. Sure. So Murphy's Law says we're going to get the immediate attack. And <laughs> uh, I don't want to I don't want to lose two allies. Uh, I can't seem to keep them on the table. So uh, I guess we'll put them in the staging area. Sure. So engagement costs 40, dude will hopefully come up, uh, yeah. putting him in the staging area. We get, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. well, we get I guess your wish is my command, but let's get rid of the old copy of Smog. And of All course, right. this is so, going to be the immediate attacks one. I'll have him attack Keeley. Okay, and let me actually take a look at my discard pile before I pick an attacker. So I've got one glowin in the discard pile i'm gonna choose glowin as my defender so let's do your shadow card uh it is if this attack destroys a character it's going to reserve <laughs> resolve all one okay. burn damage in play which is uh yeah that's burn two that's not too bad right right burn two but yes not too bad at all so it looks like uh keely is killed Yep. Is he three copies or two copies for you? Uh, three. I think I've got one more left. All right. And then Smog attacks my Glowin, and this is really not too bad of a location that is gone. So Glowin is going to be killed. He's actually brought to exactly zero. And come to think of it, well, I guess Erebor Rec Hammersmiths would have also died. So yep. that's that. Let's get rid of that card. And for committing characters to the quest, I guess I will do eight. And what are you sending? I'll also do eight. Okay, total of 16. Well, Smog is seven. I, you know what? I'll go ahead and send Glorfindel and raise my threat, so I'll send 11. Sure. No real reason not to, uh, since yeah. we're, I think, vacillating between the 30 and 40. So encounter yeah. card number one is going to be resolve all burn damage from all locations in play. Okay. And I don't know if we did that when we triggered that shadow uh, card. I don't think we did. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that twice. So mm -hmm. double there. Yep. This is gone. Encounter card two is going to be win revealed. Choose and shuffle one peer location from victory display back into the encounter deck. Well, we have to have some now. Well, they're pretty rare. Are they pretty rare? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, no, we've all got Lake Town effects. Like our oh, active geez. location is peer. But uh, I guess this is going to end up gaining Surge to uh, Merchant's District, and this is one damage per player to add it immediately to the victory display. But um, we're going to be okay. up against 11 threat. We're going to make 8 progress, so... Well, let's trigger Asphaloth for 2, just because. On our active location, or...? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, since we're getting closer to maybe killing Smog, so... Oh, and you know what? Just because, let me go ahead and do a copy of Elrond's Council, lower my threat by 3 boost my willpower up by one. Okay, so that is going to put us up to 20. So that makes uh, nine progress. So two is going to be absorbed by this peer, and then that leaves seven. So we've currently got 25 victory points. I guess should we just put seven maybe on our current quest card? Sure, sure. Okay. And do we want to travel here? or? Uh, sure, now we can travel there. Yeah, let's avoid that damage. So let's just make mm -hmm. that normal active. Okay. For engagement, we're both well beneath this aggravating smog, yep. the mighty. So it looks like yep. he's just going to chill. Let's mm -hmm. refresh. Yep. So I'll be first player. So one resource for each of my guys. I draw two cards. So I've got seven left in my deck. I'll trigger my steward. 
So for my planning, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger Narvi's belt and choose tactics. And I'm going to do one, two to do a veteran axe hand. Okay. So I will draw one card and I'm going to do one, two for a second veteran axe hand. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and draw one card and that's not doing me too much good. And I think that's all I'm going to play. I think this might be the turn where I actually try and deal some damage to Smog. Okay, I'm going to trigger King Under the Mountain to look at the top two cards. Come on, cancel when revealed. Uh, damn. I'll take Sneak Attack and then discard Dwalin. Okay. And then I will pay two for Residual Miner. All right. And that's all I can do. Okay. So, I suppose that's going to lead us to the quest phase, and yeah. in the interest of maybe trying to do some damage this turn and next, of course we're limited to a total of 12, yeah. L let me go ahead and put Smog engaged with me. Okay. So let's see what we get. So Smog is the Magnificent. Okay. So move 3 damage to Lake Town, of course he still doesn't have any. Yep. Excess damage goes to Lake Town. Uh, I guess by the process of elimination, yep. let's see what's left. It's the, nasty, the, the immediate attack one, I think. Yeah, so Smog the Mighty is going to come up next turn, Ugh, okay. and hopefully we'll be able to destroy him. Okay. But he's engaged with me, no immediate attacks or anything like that. For committing characters to the quest, I suppose, what do we want to do? Well, I could do four. All right. Then I'll send my team. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that enough? I would also send Glorfindel if that's cool okay. with you. Okay. Yep. I don't mind. So thirteen. Okay. Uh, so looks like I'm doing four. It's going to be a total of seventeen. Do we want to trigger Asphaloth now, just in case? Uh, sure. Or well. I mean, I don't think. Yeah, and I don't necessarily want to tear through this if we don't have to. So let's yeah, let's hold okay. back Asphaloth. Okay. Sure. All right, so grand total of 17 sent to the quest. Let's see what we get. So encounter card number one is going to be Merchant's District. So mm -hmm. same as our active location. Encounter card number two is going to be Resolve All Burn Damage from All Locations in Play. Mm -hmm. That is going to be two damage. My God. Right. So uh, looks like we're up off, against I guess. Uh, well, let's no. let's see here. So we're up against four, so we're going to make 13 progress. That would be three on our active location, and then it would be all of our burn damage gone, and that would make it super easy for us to push through next turn. Okay, so we can so just, I think, just put yeah. it on the Merchant's District, or the right. one in the staging area then? Sure. So let's add that to the victory display. Let's go ahead and do Asphaloth here, and then since we've got that 10 surplus... Let's bring Lake Town down to zero, because Smog the Magnificent is going to be uh, adding some damage to that shortly. And do we want to travel? Don't care? I suppose there's not really any reason not to just normal travel here, since yeah. it's got one progress. Um, so I think that's a good decision there. Let's go ahead and move on to combat, and this is where things get interesting. Well, I've got plenty of Balin. Well, not, I can only do it once, but you know, <laughs> right. I have plenty of resources. Right, so let's see here. Smog the Magnificent, I'm going to defend with uh, Biffer. Let's see what Shadow card is. going to be That's nothing. A, wow. So Biffer absorbs basically four because of hardy leadership, so that's going to be one, two, three, four on Lake Town. Let's uh, get rid of him. And for attacking back, I can do four, seven, ten, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. Okay. That's going to be modified to nine. Yep. So I'm going to do one resource, and I'm going to go ahead and use my third and final sneak attack. I am Gandalf. And Gandalf means me! And I'm going to go ahead and drop Gandalf into play. And I'm going to be attacking with everybody. Which is going to be a grand total of 21 minus 8 is 13. But of course we have a cap of 12 damage. 
So Smog is going to be sitting at uh, 12 damage. Okay. So for Gandalf's ability, I suppose I am going to drop my threat down to 28, just because I'll draw through my deck shortly anyway. So end of combat, let's get rid of that card, and let's go ahead and control R to refresh. Okay. So Gandalf is, of course, in my hand. I've got to make you first player. I'll draw two cards. I'll do some resources. I'm going to trigger my King Under the Mountain. Okay. And I guess I'll take an Elrond's Council and discard a West Road Traveler. All right. Uh, what can I play? So we have the immediate attack one. Right. Um, I guess I'll play Gandalf. <laughs> I am Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. For five. Okay. And I'll just lower my threat by five. Sure. And then that's all I'm going to do. Okay. So for me, this is a little bit complicated this turn, but I'm going to go ahead and do three resources for a Glowin, and I'm going to go ahead and put those two resources on Ori. I'm going to strip three off of him to do Biffer. So let me draw one card from Glowin. Let me draw one card from Biffer. And I have now drawn through my deck. The very last card was my Battlemaster. I'm going to trigger Narvi's Belt, strip three Rory resources off of Thorin to do a Battlemaster, who's attacking for quite a lot. I'm going to go ahead and do a We Are Not Idle, choosing to exhaust both of my record keepers to add their resources to Thorin. Let me actually change my mind, and I'm going to put those on Ori instead. And I'll spend two of them to do a third and final Erebor Hammersmith. And why don't I just uh, pull the topmost... I guess I don't have any attachments in my discard pile. <laughs> Why don't you find one and uh, add one to your hand? I don't think I have any either. And no, I do not. All right. In fact, since I don't have anything else to play, why don't I go ahead and back off one record keeper from that We Are Not Idle, and uh, I'm just going to call it good as is. So now I'm totally done. So let's put Smog in the staging area. Definitely. So it has to be Smog the Mighty, unless there's something wrong with the uh, set. And, of course, it, it is. is Smog the Mighty. So let's get rid of the old Smog the Magnificent. Of course, the damage is remains on mm -hmm. Smog, yep. and he's going to trigger right away to do yep. one attack against each player. So I'll have Gandalf defend mine. Let's see. I am going to have... Who's not attacking for much? I guess uh, Glowin as much as I'd like to have my uh, <laughs> Battlemaster defense. So, Gandalf for yours. It's going to be attacking enemy gets plus two and makes an additional attack. Uh, let's use Balan's ability. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace it. It is going to be add this location to the staging area. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, so, looks like Gandalf is going to take, uh, what, one point of damage. Yep. All Oops, right. not a resource. And, of course, I have an attack to deal with as well against Glowin, and it's going to be nothing. So Glowin is exactly killed, and that's one fewer dwarf under my control. Yeah. So let's get rid of that shadow card. And now, for committing characters to the quest, keeping in mind I'm going to be doing a powerful readying effect. Okay, well, I will send the team... So I'm still um, still 13. Okay, and I suppose make sure to boost up your threat, since yep. you still haven't gotten your light. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do 2, 4, 5, 6, uh, 12, 13, 16, 20 myself. Uh, it looks like a grand total of 33, if you're Should still I 13. go ahead and snipe the fisherman's dock? Oh, might as well. So uh -huh. let's get rid of Fisherman's Dock. I'm going to spend three... Uh, I should go to the victory display. That's right. So let's see here. Let me 
whoops, let me do the right one. So I'm going to set that there, and then Control V, and there, we've now got 30 victory points. So I've spent my three uh, leadership resources, I'm going to do a Lure of Moria to ready all dwarf characters. So those are all ready. I guess actually no reason that I shouldn't have sent Dane as well. So let's kick our total up to a grand of uh, 35 cent. Okay. So at this point, let's see what we get for staging. So encounter card one is going to be Merchant's District uh, for threat. Encounter card two is going to be one damage to each character in play. So this. Uh, let me test of will that. Yeah, it's not going to kill anything of mine, but no reason to let it resolve. Oh, I forgot about hardy leadership. You're right. Well, but we should be winning this turn anyway. Yeah, and it does help our score, so it, sure. you viewers know how much we care about that, so let's get rid of that. We're... And then let me play an Elrond's Council. Okay. Boost my willpower by one, lower my threat by three. Right. So Again, we're... because I care about score. <laughs> okay. So we're at 36 committed to the quest. We are against 11, which means we're going to make 25. So, down to 24, add that to our victory display. Might as well strip all of uh, these. So we're down to 20, and then that is going to put us at um, 27. 27 out of 10. All right. So at the present moment, we now transition onto quest phase 3B. So during the quest phase, we reveal one additional card from the encounter deck and refresh. We can reset the quest deck to stage 2B. Importantly, Smog no longer has an upper limit on how much damage he can have on him, and we have to defeat Smog in order to defeat the stage. So we've currently got uh, 33 victory points. We could put four damage on Smog just to get three more. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, not on Smog, on Lake Town. Right. I suppose it helps our score, so we might sure. as well add that to the victory display. So there's four damage on Lake Town, but now we've got 36 victory points if I didn't accidentally delete any locations. So Smog the Mighty, I am going to go ahead and pull him down to me. So I will give him a shadow card. Okay. All of a sudden, I had like a sudden surge of things are going to go terribly wrong. <laughs> but uh, let's see. I am going to have as a defender, I guess, Erebor Hammersmith. One of those is my weakest. Shadow card is a whole oh, wow. lot of nothing. And I had a hasty stroke just in case. Cool art, though, to represent him attacking the. Sure. Setting the town aflame. So, Erebor Hammersmith is going to be exactly killed. And for attacking back, I'm going to swing with pretty much the team. So, Erebor Battlemaster is going to have base 2 from Dane, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by himself. Thorn makes that 15, 18, 21, uh, 27, and a grand total of 31. So 31 minus 9 is going to be 22. So Smog is going to be at 36 out of 20 damage. So it looks like the Erebor Battlemaster was not exactly even necessary for us to do this. But... At the present moment, Smog has 36 damage out of 20. Uh, we can put as much damage as we'd like on him. Lake Town only has 4 points of damage. We have 36 victory points, 1 for each point of damage on Smog. And at this point, we have won the scenario. So, Matthew, any final thoughts about the battle for Lake Town? Well, it's definitely a fun quest, and as I said in our our last video, I really do feel like almost each and every decision really has uh, a larger strategic sort of uh, impact in later stages of the game than almost any other quest, perhaps more than any quest. My deck, I don't know if it was good or bad, I just... I felt like I was treading water most of the time. I just wasn't able to get out a whole lot of allies. Certainly, I never got to five allies, uh, so Owen would have tactics. I've had a battle master in my hand forever. So uh, I'm not sure if, if my deck did all that well today, but we we uh, were able to beat the scenario. I definitely think it's a fun one, very thematic. I love the burn mechanic. Uh, it's definitely a quest I would play again. So uh, yeah, I had a very good time. Yeah, I think the primary difficulty here is between our two decks that uh, 
you know, when you can't use tactics, I think we mentioned this at the end discussion of our, our first attempt at uh, Lake Town, there's really only so much that you can do. So dwarves are the powerhouses right now, even though next up we're going to be taking a look at the Steward's Fear, which introduces a powerful new faction. Apart from Elrond or something like that, dwarves are really the top tier decks. And when we're doing something like trying to distribute cards from one dwarf deck between the both of us, like you had Balin, you had Feely and Keely, and I had a lot of the other powerful stuff, it, it did seem like your deck just was a little bit underwhelming just because because of the uniqueness of dwarves. There wasn't enough power to really go around, so there weren't a lot of really tough spirit dwarf allies, for example, for you to put in your deck. Like, Zigil Miner is totally likely to fall prey to that one damage to all characters. It's more expensive than my record keepers, but it's just as susceptible. So, uh, Narvi's Belt being unique, Legacy of Durin being unique, I kind of had to throw King Under the Mountain over to your side, just in case Balin would have been resource-starved. It certainly ended up working out, but it it kind of felt awkward between these two decks. Uh, playing this scenario solo, which I've done a number of times, it's so helpful on the first or second turn to do something like We're Not Idle, and then Feely, Keely, boom, you've got your five dwarves and you're ready to go. It just seemed like both of us kind of had crappy starts the way that these decks were built, uh, specifically because we limit our card pool. But I had a good time playing this. I'm glad that we uh, beat this without too many attempts in my sweltering apartment here. So <laughs> glad to see this one finished. Yeah, I think I'll just... While I don't think Balin was as baller as he was in our first go-through, he certainly was helpful. In hindsight, perhaps, you know, these ancient Mathems, I, I never felt like card draw was the problem for my particular deck. It was resources. I don't, I you know, I'd have to think of what I would, if I was to take ancient Mathem out, what I would put in. Maybe a leadership dwarf, just because um, there, Balin did seem to build up resources, and but the leadership dwarves are also kind of expensive. So, yeah, I mean, I think my deck worked okay in that I could stomach some things, and I certainly on turn you know was able to uh, i was able to commit quite a bit of willpower most turns and so i don't think it was completely useless but as far as you know i, I definitely couldn't have handled the killing smog on my end of the table so uh, uh for once i think you were able to to be the enemy <laughs> basher and it worked out okay yeah maybe the one and only time but we'll have right. to see how it looks in uh, the five armies and the against the shadow cycle of adventure packs but yeah I think we've pretty much said all there is to say, so thank you guys so much for checking out another video in the LOTR LCG progression series. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. Next up is going to be our playthrough of the Battle of the Five Armies, and we're finally going to get to wrap up our Hobbit on the Doorstep Saga expansion, so we'll see you again soon.